I'm Aubrey Betancourt, President and CEO of the Almond Alliance. It's been a shaken week this week. We've been covering a lot of ground, everything from state politics and policy all the way to federal politics and policy. So where do you want to start? Well, let's start with some of the stuff that's international. We've been involved with a project called the TASC grant, looking at opening up markets for almond holes overseas as feed product for dairies and other livestock. We had some great opportunities to work with our team today, and we are very excited to announce that that will be a breakout session at our convention the first week of May, second through the fifth, and this week closed early registration and early room rates. So you can still register to attend. I encourage you to do so. We look forward to seeing you there. And if you want to learn more about the task grant or anything else, including our water panel, our incredible supply chain panel, some of our fun events and mixers, please check it out at almondalliance.org slash convention. We've also been engaged heavily with the state of California this week, working with members of the assembly, uh, members of statewide elected office, uh, uh, as well, we had the state treasurer had her down here visiting in the Modesto area. And we even went up and spent time in Sacramento working with politicians from other and all sides of the aisle as well, continuing to build those networks and relationships in order to continue to carry our message of what we need, supply chain and water supply. That leads me to, we've been working with the state even on the regulatory side. You've probably seen some announcements about Prop 65 labeling and some of the decision-making taking place there. We've been having some very high-level conversations. We're continuing to represent almonds and the need of almonds in that space. And we really appreciate the continued partnership uh, of the Almond Board and some of our members, and even some of those working to come up with resolution for us within the state as well. So thank you so much to them. And we're gonna stay on top of that and keep you informed of that process. We've been working with the Department of Water Resources. If you are a member of the Almond Alliance, you're getting our industry alerts and we're gonna to continue to get information to you as more about the governor's executive order addressing drought continues to roll out and the interpretation and administration of a number of those orders that have gone into place. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at the Almond Alliance. We're here to be a resource for you and help you walk through a lot of what is getting figured out right now. So we're staying on top of it. Hopefully you're staying on top of it. I really encourage you to contact your districts, contact your GSAs and learn more. There's a lot changing in the water world. And the more you know, the more you can prepare. More importantly, like what we're talking about to everybody we talk to is, hey, this is fine. It's a drought, we're gonna get through it. But what happens when it rains? Those are the policies and the politics we wanna be involved in. So that's the waterfront and the state front on the federal side. Ocean Shipping Reform Act, we are still pushing hard through that. You probably saw the great CNBC article. It's funny how the mainstream media pays attention when you tell them to. Uh, and uh, some really great headway made in that space as we try to see reconciliation between the House bill and the Senate bill. Obviously still working with our California delegation on that front, and we've continued to stay in touch uh, with various members of the California delegation as they lead both on that front, but they're being bulldogs for us in other spaces. And we're gonna get creative here on what we can do also as we see supply continue to build up and we get ready for that 2022 season. We know these are uh, serious considerations and they have real life effects on what's happening within our industry and within uh, you know cash flow and life on the ground out here. So uh, we continue to educate on that. Uh, both internally and externally, continue to do interviews. We've had some great sit downs with NPR and some others. So keep an eye out. And when you see that information on our social media, please be sure to share. It's up to you to help us tell our own story as well. We then pivot that back, make things happen. Whether we're talking about the ports of Stockton, the ports of Long Beach, uh, ports of LA, Washington DC, Sacramento, uh, we're all a part of telling that story. And more importantly, educating, more importantly, having an opinion and making sure people know what we need to keep our farmers farming and to keep almonds in the hands and plates of the people we love and serve. So thank you so much for your continued membership. Again, if you need more information, we encourage you to check us out at almondalliance.org and visit us on all your favorite social media platforms. Have a great weekend.